So for today's video, we are going to be doing a Q&A. So, oh. <laughs> so I posted on Instagram and Facebook questions for us to answer. So we're going to be doing that today. Mm-hmm. All right. So the first question we're going to answer is how did we meet? In the butcher shop. What the <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, mutual friends. <laughs> we worked together. Um, yeah, so we both <laughs> we both worked at a movie theater, and that's how we met. And Alyssa was just so good at scooping popcorn, and I was like. So the next question is. What's it like and how is it having two kids? First of all, we have <laughs> three. Here's her appearance this video. Pooper, say hi to the camera. Oh, you're so pretty. Ooh. So this is our oldest. Why don't you talk about the other two? Why? So honestly, we've talked about this before and I feel like it was a lot easier going from one to two kids than it was going from having no kids to one kid. I feel like having one kid, especially overseas, like by ourselves was really hard. But then like having a second was kind of like, you already know what you're doing. So just throwing another one into the mix is like, <laughs> he's covered in hair now. You just kind of like figure it out because you already know how to handle like the newborn phase. Then you know how to handle like the toddler phase. So having two wasn't that bad. And the first kid during the newborn phase was just a blur where we were up from weird hours of the night. Like <laughs> the, the Rugrats meme of uh, the dad making chocolate pudding at 3 a.m. Like, Stu, <laughs> why, why are you making pudding at 3 a.m.? Because I've lost control of my life. <laughs> it's like, how we, we do weird stuff like make ramen and like, like tacos. I know. know we made tacos at like 2 a.m. Okay, the next question. Is the biggest goal we have for our future together? Raise two children that are semi-successful and probably only have to work for fun by the time I'm 40. Yeah. I definitely think being like extremely financially like... Free. Independent. Yeah. Like we're doing really well right now. Like we're... Thanks Air Force. Debt. Air Force. <laughs> Thanks, Community Bank. How many kids do we want? Is exactly one. how many we have. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> we are done. We are not having any more kids. And I know that's asked a couple times in different forms. So we're just answering that right now is that we are done having kids. The other popular form is when are you guys having a girl? Like, yeah, we're not having a girl. Um, where do we want to be stationed next? I think it was asked a couple times too. Um, we really wanted to be stationed in Utah. Hill. With Teddy. We miss you, Teddy. <laughs> um, but it's not gonna happen, so now we're leaning towards Arizona. We really want to be in Arizona. For the heat and the dryness and the Grand Canyon and what else they got there? Really good right on. Um, and going with that, I'm not sure if this is asked, but we leave Japan in May. I think I talked about that in the Japan Q&A, but if I didn't, we leave in May. Um, another question was, have we ever gone to Disney in Japan, and is it far from where we are? We have not gone, and it is far. So we're in as far north as you can get in mainland Japan, and that's about like halfway down on mainland. So we're about an eight hour drive to Tokyo, which is where Disney is, and about an hour and a half flight. So it's really not cheap to get there, so we haven't gone. All right, so how did you propose? So we... <laughs> so we used to go hiking all the time when we were dating, and we used to go to this one spot in Pennsylvania called The Knob, and we kind of had like, like an off trail, that had an overlook of these fields. It was really nice. And 
we used to go there all the time. So when it was time to propose, I was like, what better place to go than the place we went to all the time when we were dating. And we were there and I was like waiting for her to look away and I got down behind her. And <laughs> she turned around like, and I said, will you marry me? And she didn't say anything. <laughs> she, <laughs> she just <laughs> brought me up and hugged me and then <laughs> didn't say anything. And I was like, so yes? She's like, oh yes, yeah. But I remember it was like, we had these plans to go hiking that day and it started raining and Danny was like, I still want to go hiking. I was like, that's kind of weird, but okay. I had the ring in a box in my pocket. I was like really quiet the whole walk out there. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, he was so quiet. I remember that much. I was like, why are you so quiet? But yeah, I'm fine. And I thought, I was like, oh, maybe he's going to propose. But then like, I seriously looked in your pockets. Like I tried <laughs> to see it through your pockets and I couldn't. So I don't know where I was hiding it. I made sure to keep it in the pocket that was away from her too. So when we were driving, I was on the left side of the car. I had it in my left pocket. And I was like, <laughs> next. This is another one. Do you want any more kids? No. Where did we both start job-wise at a movie theater? Well, that was my first job. My first job was at the movie theater. I started working there when I was 16, but then you didn't start working there until I was a little older. I got referred to by a friend. When did I start there? When I was 19? Yeah, you, your first job was a lifeguard, right? Or I was a lifeguard out there saving lives. Walpoa. What drives us crazy about each other? you drive me crazy about you so one question that we didn't get asked that i'll answer really quick is how old are we because i feel like i'm always curious about that with people mm. i am 25 and mm. danny is 24. 24. Alyssa likes younger men i like older women okay and then the last question that we're going to answer Actually, we'll answer two more because I have one that I know people are probably curious, but I don't have it in here. Go. So this question wasn't asked, but I know like it probably is like people are curious, but where are we from is a good one. It's a um, good question that I get all the time. Yeah. I go, uh, 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 New York, Pennsylvania is usually my answer. Yeah. So uh, we're from the border of where New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey all connect. But we were both born in New York. We both went to elementary school in New York. And then we went to school in Pennsylvania. And then we both graduated from the same high school. And then we both went to college in New Jersey. I worked in New Jersey while working in Pennsylvania because we lived right on the border. Um, and Danny went to college there. Yeah. And then we met each other somewhere in there. Yes. So only one of us knew the other in high school. There were days where I would wake up in Pennsylvania, go to school in New Jersey in the morning, stay at school all day, in the afternoon go to the gym in New York, go to work right over the border of Pennsylvania, and then take a 40 minute drive home deeper into Pennsylvania to yeah. go to sleep. I can think of like two other questions that didn't get asked that we should answer. That's your fourth time doing that. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so how long have we been married? So we've been married for about three and a half years, almost four years. We've been together for almost five years. Oh, um, how long have you been in the Air Force? Three years and three months tomorrow, which would make tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow would be January 11th. Yeah. So my four year mark will be October 11th, 2020, which would be, would be the original end of my four year contract, but That's I had to extend. Good. To get us out of Japan. Yes. And then, oh, what is your job? If you look on the Air Force website, it's aerospace propulsion, which is a fancy word for jet engine mechanic. Yeah. So I work on fighter engines specifically. Right now I work at Engine Test Cell, which is really cool because I get to test all of the fully put together engines that the back shop assembles. So we hook it up to our stuff, send some fuel through it, light it on fire, and then watch it go. 
So we're hoping one day that Danny will take the camera to work and kind of like show that. Yes. So stay tuned. And if you want to see a jet engine running outside of a jet with a bunch of fire out of its butt. <laughs> Then Side note, uninstalled, so subscribe. Not, not in a jet, it's just the whole engine hooked yeah. up to a stand. Yeah, closing statement. But yeah, so we'll do like a whole another video at some point about like the whole military aspect of our, like our relationship and stuff. But like, I know there's like a military spouse tag out there I can do. And then Danny can just kind of answer questions about like him being in the military. As much yeah. as I can, because my job is very secret. It's oh, not. Way too much. <laughs> So we will see you in our next video. Or as they say in Japan. <laughs>